Hello everyone, and welcome to FlowXO Academy. In this video, we will show you how to configure and send WhatsApp template messages. Template messages are an important element in WhatsApp, as they are the only way you can communicate with your users outside of the 24-hour messaging window. So, you would have to use template messages if you would like to update your users on a support request, or an order they have placed, if it has been more than 24 hours since they last sent you a message. Template messages are also the only way you can send interactive content in WhatsApp, unlike other messaging applications. So, you will want to use template messages if you would like to include images and buttons in your WhatsApp messages. As a reminder, to connect your FlowXO bots to WhatsApp, you can either connect your Wadi account with a WhatsApp Business API plan, or you can connect through our sandbox to test your WhatsApp bot using our account and then add your Wadi account once you're ready to go live. Check out our videos and support pages for detailed instructions on this. For the purpose of this video, we will assume that you already have an account with our partner Wadi. So, let's get started. First, you would go to the flow we want to use with WhatsApp template messages. We don't have any flow ready, so we are going to go to Flows, then click on New, and select Bank Flow. We are now going to add a new message, and we will enter the message that will trigger the template, in our case, Send Me a Template, and click on Next. We are also going to give a meaningful name to this flow, and we'll call it Send a Template Demo. We will also turn on the flow so we can test it later. Next, we will configure the template message. To do so in the Select an Action page, scroll to the bottom and click on More Services, then click on WhatsApp Actions. In the next screen, select the Send a Template Message action from the drop-down menu and click Next. The Settings page for template messages appear, and here you will enter the information required by WhatsApp to run your message. This part may be a bit complex, so if in doubt, please be sure to read our documentation by heading to support.flowxo.com, where we explain in detail how to use all the components of a WhatsApp template message. Though, in this video, we will show you one to highlight the main concepts. First, you should open your WhatsApp Business Manager to define your template messages. We have one set up already, as you can see the name is support underscore submission underscore follow-up. You will need to use this name later to refer to your template. There is also a header component, which can be text or media. In this case, we have selected media and chosen to display an image in our message. There is a body component as well. In this component, you can enter only text and emojis, but you can also insert parameters that your FlowXO bot will use later. As you can see, we have introduced three parameters that we will configure in the bot later to make the message more dynamic. Finally, there is a footer, and then there is a section to configure interactive buttons. The footer is just displayed at the bottom of your message, and the interactivity offers two kinds of buttons. There are quick reply buttons that work very similar to quick reply buttons in other messaging applications, sending the message back to your bot to be processed by the logic in your flows, and there are also call to action buttons that will send your user to a URL to initiate a phone call. In this example, we are using quick reply buttons. So, back in FlowXO, we need to provide values for the image, the three parameters in the body message, and also the values for FlowXO when these buttons are clicked, if we don't just want the label to be sent back. We will start by pasting the template name. Next, we will enter the header parameters. As we selected to use media, we have to enter the URL to the image we would like to use, and on the right box, we type image. Now that the header is done, we need to enter the body parameters. We have three parameters in our body message. The first one is the name, so we'll enter Nathan. The next two describe the type of issue the customer is having. So we will type shark and broken fin. Next comes the footer. We have no parameters in the footer, so we will skip this part and move to the buttons. We select the button type, which in this example is Quick Reply, 
and then enter the values that will be sent back as messages when one of these buttons are clicked by the users. So we type email, phone, and wa for WhatsApp. These can be any text you would like to send as a message. They don't have to relate to the button labels you entered in the WhatsApp template. Note that the values you enter in FlowXO will be attached to the buttons in the WhatsApp template in the same order. The first value will be for the first button, and so on. So you want to make sure you can enter the values in the same order as the buttons. Now, click on Next, and then on Save, and the configuration is done. We will add a Wait for a Response action to make sure that the bot waits for the user input when the template message is presented to them, so that it can react to the button clicks. The bot will react by telling the user what they clicked. You could use a filter or trigger another flow, but we will simply use a parsed answer like this. So, we are now ready to test it. We will open WhatsApp and send our trigger word, send me a template, to our bot. And our bot replies back with the template. There is the image in the header, and you can see that the parameters have been replaced. Also at the bottom are the three buttons. If we click on one of these, we will receive the message we associated to our template. If we click on WhatsApp, we receive the message, you clicked WA, as we had configured. And that's all for this video. Remember, you can find detailed written instructions for this and many more features in our Help Center at support.flowxo.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos on FlowXO's features, and let us know in the comments if there are any specific features that you would like us to cover in a video.